hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss coffee here and today we're back with a unboxing yes so this unboxing as you can see comes to us from the awesome folks over at oraloa diamond painting so huge thank you to the folks over at oraloa i really really appreciate it they went ahead and sent this out to me so i can show you guys some of the canvases that they have available so let's go ahead and get into it without further ado first things first we have this okay we have this Please do not get on my nail because you will take my rhinestone off. Here we go. So we have that beautiful, I, I want to say they're hibiscus flowers, but I could be completely wrong. We look like we have some wax in there and a business card of some sort. And we have some stickers as well. So let's get into this. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll figure out the kit in a few minutes. Uh, it says, hello and tui time. I don't know what that means. I do not speak Hawaiian, but that's really cute. So we are going to get into this wax. Where did the wax come from? The wax uh it's called Sh cerise cherry T smell test I'm about to say taste test <laughs> don't eat the wax folks Ooh, it does smell really good i'm putting that in my tart burner um i'm not sure where the wax came from though it says cc on it um i'm gonna guess it's one of the wax companies that works with them um so yeah you guys can check that out over on their website because i want to get into this box so I've actually been staring this kit up for a while and I'm so glad I got it because this is probably going to be my drills and chills canvas and I love participating in drills and chills because who doesn't like participating in Halloween things. So what canvas is it? Lady Death. Yes! I'm so excited! All right, so let's go ahead and get into this box. Let me show you all the goodies that come in here. So we're going to get through this plastic. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. If not, do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. So, here we go. We have all the details for Lady Death on the back here. And I'm going to guess that end name is the artist. If not, I do apologize. So, we're going to pop this open. They do have legally licensed artwork because I know that's a question I get asked often. Um, I'm trying to do better at only showing companies now that have the legally licensed artwork because it's too much of a hassle trying to find one, a company that doesn't, and then trying to find an image on their site that might be public domain. So yeah, there's that. Um, morals, folks, morals. So here we go. We have Lady Death. She has 50 colors. Look at that. We have a lot of dark colors and they're not blank. So let's see, we get close here. I want to say that's a number seven in there possibly, or is a Y. We're going to have to contact them about that one. Maybe we'll see it on the kit. P. So I see the up arrow. So these here should have been white. These symbols should have been white because I can't even make out number 18. Um, so I will have to get a legend from them. Like this symbol, why is this not white? I don't understand. That is the like the biohazard symbol almost. It's like the three triangles. So numbers 18 and 26 need to be reviewed because those symbols are way too dark. I want to say 18 is Y. So, whoop. Okay, I didn't even have to open a the plastic. There are the drills. Another company I love because they do keep their drills in baggies. And you can already see a couple of the ABs there. Now, if you, or we'll go through that still later. So, I want to see this camera. So, this is a 90 by 63. So, it's pretty long. Get rid of that. Push all this stuff off to the side. Safety first. Look at this canvas. It's big. All right, so we're going to roll it the opposite way because it is doing things. It's doing things. We want it to lay flat, so. Now we lay flat for us. There we go. There we have it. Isn't it gorgeous? I don't think I can get any. There we go. Oh, my God. So a 90 by 63, which is 90 up and 63 across. Of course, I'm going to have to get quick wrap my kits again because this is absolutely stunning. And of course, again, here is what that image is going to look like. Absolutely love it. And again, perfect for drills and chills. Nice little Halloween canvas. And of course, we have our drills. Look at the ABs. 
dark pink, light pink, purple. That is not an AB. Now, if you're new to diamond painting and you don't know what an AB drill is, let me get this out of the bag here. Now, I don't typically go through the drills when they're like this because it's just too hard to put them back in the bag. And I, because I am going to be holding this for later on, I don't want to, uh, and this is a round kit if you couldn't see. Uh, I don't like getting them out of here. It's just too hard to get them back in here the exact way that they have them so that it fits nice and I can store it away. So here is our first AB drill. Now, if you've never seen an AB drill, this is what an AB drill looks like. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drill to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. And when you put them down on the canvas next to a regular drill, it will make that regular cam or the regular drill sparkle. Um, it will pick up the color from the regular drill and make it sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So that is what an AB drill is. And you can see there, and we'll show you the difference between an AB and a regular drill. So you have a regular drill. They're pretty. They sparkle like this white color. Like you see that little, sh that little sparkle on them. Well, these have that rainbow iridescent color. You see the difference? That is what the difference of an AB and a regular drill is. So I get asked that all the time as well. So let's take a look because I opted for a round for this one just because I'm still a little weary about squares right now. So yeah, let's take a look at the drill field and then we'll figure out where those ABs go. So here we go. Let's see if we can find some of those darker colors. Yeah, see that dark number, what is it? I want to say it's number 18. That is why. And luckily, I believe it's the only color like that. So we have that right there. And I think that's the only spot that that color is in. But the symbols do look nice and clear. I will give them that. The symbols are nice and clear on this one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then, let's see here. Which is weird because this blood is supposed to be like a darkish red. And I love how it's burgundy on here. Um, I might have to start this one early just because how slow I've been working on kits lately. Um, I'm trying to see, where are the ABs? The ABs, they're not in any particular order. So we're going to look for, first we're going to look for symbol 208, which is the U-turn the symbol. And it looks like we have some of those here. And it's kind of like in the outline of her hand up here. All right, so I had to pick it up for a second here. All right, so that U-turn symbol, we have a couple on the outline of things up here. So we have that U-turn symbol on that skull up there. We have some over here as well, uh, outlining the blood in the background. We also have right there on her cheek, outlining her face. So there are some of the ABs for that one. The next one's gonna be the plus symbol, which we see some plus symbols already on the side over here. Um, do we have any on this side? Yes, we do. We got some plus symbols on this side as well. That is gonna be 819. So they're all throughout the background of this image. Uh, so you're gonna get a nice sprinkling of those. We have letter A, which we already see some A's over here. We also have some A's over here as well. Um, I'm seeing some ups, those reverse symbols or the U-turn symbols in her eyes. So that makes me pretty happy because I love having ABs in the eyes. Um, v as in Victor, we are going to look for V. Let's see here. There's some V on the skeleton. There's some Vs above her eye there. Lots of O's, which is 5,200. Do we have any Vs on this? Yeah, we have a couple of Vs on this skull she's holding in her hand. We have some Vs down here on her sleeve. So your ABs for this kit are going to be sprinkled on the outline of things. It's kind of like a highlighting thing for uh, the one AB. The other AB is also sprinkled in there like around her eyes and around the skull and such. Uh, I'm not seeing anything major on like the, the bloody knife or anything. We might have to add a little bit of such, something extra, but I absolutely love this kit. It is freaking stunning. And it's just, it fits, it fits the Halloween theme perfectly. I absolutely love this image. If this is an image that you were looking to get into, I would highly recommend. Uh, Oraloa has been doing a lot better. They've been improving 
leaps and bounds since the first time I unboxed them. And even as far as going to sending me square drills when they wanted to replace the bad ones that I received. So I, I, I will always back this company because they're, tr they're at least trying to improve and they're not just making excuses why things are the way they are. So kudos to Oraloa Diamond Painting. Again, this kit has 50 colors. I am a little worried. Um, I will probably have to write the symbol on the side of a couple of these just because it's printed really dark. And so if I had any suggestions for them, it would be to whenever you have these dark colors like this, not everyone has the best eyesight. So that's going to be hard for a lot of people to read. I would highly suggest turning those symbols white. So you can leave the block the color it is. Just turning the symbol white, you'll be surprised how much it pops up off the, the legend here so that people can actually read it. Um, and there's not another like sheet for them to read it off of. So the sticker sheet and the legend on the sides here, which is pretty small. So it's going to be harder, um, again, if they have hard eyesight. So I would make those darker symbols white. So, or the darker uh, blocks, I would make the symbols white so that they are easy to see. I'm pretty sure this is probably something they're already addressing. This kit has actually been around for a little bit. So wouldn't be surprised if you get a kit like this and it's already fixed and rectified. So that's the only thing bad I can say about this kit. It's poured glue. I'm not sure if this is a hand charted company or not, but it looks to be because look at the face. The face is so clear and it doesn't have like this cloudy effect around it, almost like it's blurry. So I give them kudos because you guys know I'm really finicky about faces and her face looks absolutely stunning. I freaking love this image. I can't wait to get started on it. So again, two big old thumbs up for Oralo Adana painting. Thank you so much for sending this out to me and thank you so much for you for watching. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns real quick before we go though, the toolkit, because somebody's going to ask me. Here is your toolkit. You get some blue wax, a squishy, a pair of tweezers that look like they can shank you, so make sure that they're sheathed, if there's a sheath on them, a white pen and a white boat with a funnel. Y'all don't care about the toolkit. Now again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about this company or tool or tools, company or kit, please leave those down in the comment section below and I promise to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I gotta get out of here. So thank you again so much for watching. I really truly appreciate it. And always remember to stay caffeinated, stay crafty, stay safe, and remember that it's you be kind to everyone because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always be cool. Bye guys.